Hi everyone, this is Ash Dixman and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this video, we are going to talk about one of the counting techniques of probability, yung tinatawag natin as the combination. So, without more ado, let's start the tutorial video. What is combination? Combination is an arrangement of objects where order is not important. Opposite sa nauna na natin na-discuss na permutations. Ang kailangan lang natin tandaan when it comes sa combination, hindi mahalaga kung ano man yung order ng ating sequence. Ano ba yung difference ng permutation at saka ng combination? So for example, meron tayong tatlong numbers. We have 1, 2, and 3. Consider it as a sample space. Kunwari, ayan. Ngayon, kapag pinag-uusapan natin is permutation. So let's say dalawang sequence. We have 1... 3, 2, at saka 2, 1, 3. For permutation, magkaiba ng bilang itong dalawang arrangements na ito. Sa permutation, kasi nga, sa permutation, pag naiba sila ng ayos, ibang bilang na yun. Kasi nga, order is important when it comes to permutation. Now, kung pag-uusapan naman natin is combination, let's say for example, ito ulit 1, 3, 2. 1, 3, 2, at saka 2, 1, 3. Isang bilang lang yan pagdating sa combination. Sa permutation, dalawang bilang siya. Pagdating sa combination, isang bilang siya kasi uh, yung order is not important. Pareho lang silang may 1, 3, at saka 2. Ito, may 1, 3, at saka 2 din. So, meaning, isang bilang lang sila without regard sa kung paano sila nakaayos. So, that's the difference of permutation and combination. The number of combinations subsets of R elements that can be selected from a set of N Elements is denoted as tatlong denotation kapag combination. Pwedeng N, R, ayan, itong nakikita natin na una. Or yung C, N to R, or N, C, R. Sa permutation, simply uh, N, P, R, N, P, N, ganun lang. So, ganito kapag combination. And we only have one formula for combination. N, C, R is equal to C, N, R, or simply N, R is equal to N factorial over R factorial times the quantity of N minus R factorial. So, this is our formula. Para mas maintindihan natin, let's take example number 1. For example number 1, problem, a candy has 5 flavors. A kid wants to buy 3 flavors of candy. If he randomly selects 3 flavors out of 5, how many combinations are possible? Sulat natin yung givens. We have N is equal to 5 flavors. And pipili siya ng tatlong flavor lang. We have R is equal to 3. So, normally or kadalasan, kapag makaka-encounter tayo ng problems, and malalaman natin na combination yung gagamitin natin formula, kasi, unang-una, sinasabi na sa problem, how many combinations are possible? Or sasabihin yung order, or order is not important. So, yun yung mga keywords na kailangan natin tandaan Parang para hindi tayo malito from permutation to combination. Using the formula, we have 5C3. Ayan. Sa calculator, pwede na rin natin i-direct yung 5C3. Pero, formally, we will use this formula na 5 factorial over yung R natin at 3 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial. And, ang value natin now is 10 combination. So, ayan. This is the answer for example number 1. Para ma-visualize natin ng onte, for example, i-denote natin yung limang flavors as A, B, C, D, and E. This is A, B, C, D, and E. Dahil, yung, dahil sa combination, order is not important. Ah, bawal may magkamuka. Lima yan, tatlo yung pipiliin natin. So, ito yung mga arrangements nila. We have A, B, C. A, B, D, A, B, E, uh, A, C, D, A, C, E, A, D, E, and B, C, D, B, C, E, B, D, E, and C, C, D, and sorry, C, D, E. Kung titignan natin itong 10 combinations na yan, 
wala sa sampunan ang may kamukha sa iba pang mga elements. Ayan, ganyan. So, kung titingnan natin isa-isa, walang magkamukha kahit isang letter lang. Ganon sa combination. Kasi, halimbawa, yung ABC na yan, parang ganon sa na-discuss nga natin kanina, ABC na yan, tapos, ginawa mo lang CBA, isang B lang pa din yan. Four combination kasi, hindi pinapansin yung order. So, kung permutation na gagawin natin dito, mas marami. Kasi doon, bawat order, kahit magkakamukha ng letter, magkakaibang bilang yan. So, permutation, combination. That's example number one. And for our next example, example number two, a student decides to select three subjects from a course with a total of ten subjects. So, paano ang combination daw ang mangyayari? For example number two, using only the formula, we have n is equal to ten, and ang r natin is equal to 3 only. So, substituting, we have 10C3 is equal to 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 quantity factorial. And then, we calculate this is equal to 120 combinations. Yan. So, this is example number 2. Same and simple process lang din. Next, we have example number 3. Example number 3, 5 members of a, com of a committee will be randomly selected from 10 students. How many combinations are possible? So, ganito lang kasimple when it comes to combination. And, ang n natin, we have 10. R is equal to 5. Substituting, this is 10C5 is equal to 10 factorial over 5 factorial times 10 minus 5 quantity factorial. This is equal to 252 combinations or simply ways na lang din. So, this is example number 3. And for example number 4, a field has 10 different location points in which a flag can be placed. If six identical colored flags are to be placed on the field, how many different ways are possible? So, sa permutation, meron tayong example problem na ganito. Kaya lang, sa permutation, ito yung kanilang difference. Permutation, six different colored flags. Dito naman, identical colored flags. So, pag gaganyan, we will use combination. Ang N natin, we have 10. R is 6. And we substitute, this is 10C6 is equal to 10 factorial over 6 factorial times 10 minus 6 quantity factorial is equal to 210 ways or 210 combinations. So this is example number 4. For last example, example number 5. A civil engineering student wants to buy review books. So, meron tayong category. Yung una, math books. Sa math books, apat daw yung gusto niyang bilhin. Sa design books, seven. Sa geotech books, dalawa. And finally, sa hydraulic books, lima. The bookseller has a total of ten books each subject. So, sa math book, meron siyang sampo. Sa design, sampo. Geotech, sampo. And sa hydraulic, sampo din. How many ways a student can buy the book? So, combination na gagamitin natin. Kailangan, isa-isahin natin. Four math books muna. For math. Ang N natin ay 10 dahil lahat ng subject meron daw tig sa sampung books. Ang R natin for math ay 4. So, solve natin. We have 10C4 is equal to 10 factorial over 4 factorial times n minus 4 factorial is equal to 210 combinations or 210 ways. Pero sa math books pa lang ito, meron pa tayong design, geotech, and hydraulics. For design, ang n natin, 10 pa din. Ang r natin for design ay 7. So this is 10 C7 is equal to 10 factorial over 7 factorial times 
10 minus 7 factorial, this is equal to 120 ways or 120 combinations. And meron pa tayong dalawa for geotech. Ang n natin is 10 pa din. Ang r natin is equal to 2. Is 10c2 is equal to 10 factorial over 2 factorial times 10 minus 2 quantity factorial. This is equal to 45 ways or 45 combinations. And for the last type of book, meron tayong hydraulics. Ang R natin is equal to 5. 5. This is 10C5. Equal to 10 factorial over 5 factorial times 10 minus 5 quantity factorial. And this is equal to 252 ways or 252 combinations. Now, we have to think kung ano ba yung dapat or ano ba yung gustong bilhin ng civil engineering student. Ang sabi niya, bibili niya lahat. Ibig sabihin, uh, the civil engineering student wants to buy math and design and geotech and hydraulics. Eh, di ba? Meron nga tayong special principle when it comes to the words and at saka yung or. Kapag ka and, gagawin natin is multiply. Kapag ka or, plus lang ang gagawin natin. Hindi naman dito sinabi sa problem na bibili siya ng math or design or geotech or hydraulics. Ang sinabi, bibili siya ng math and design and geotech and hydraulics. Ibig sabihin, ang gagawin natin dito sa apat na ways na nakuha, na, number of ways na nakuha natin is multiply natin and yun yung magiging final answer natin. For example, number 5. So, ang total number of ways is 210 times 120 times 45 times 252 and this is equal to 285,768,000 ways or combination. So this is the final answer for example number 5. Remember yung principle ng and at saka ng or. And that's all for combinations. Please like and share. Thank you for watching and See you on the next video.